Associates, Head Archivist and University Records Officer. And my name is Sharon Wolf. I am the Assistant Archivist for Northwestern State University, and we are here today to tell you about performing archival and primary source research in an archives or records institution. To begin, we want to tell you a little bit about ourselves and our research center. The research center is named in honor of Carmelite Cammy Garrett Henry of Melrose Plantation. The Melrose Collection is our largest collection and makes up the core of our holdings. Our mission is to collect, preserve, and make available manuscripts and published materials relating primarily to the history and culture of the original boundaries of the city of Natchitoches that was founded in 1714 by French explorers. This area encompasses the French and Spanish colonial territorial areas, the Louisiana Purchase of 1803, the creation of Natchitoches County in 1805, and the creation of Natchitoches Parish in 1807. Our collections include Louisiana and rare books, more than 800 archives and manuscript collections, NSU University archives, maps, newspapers, and microfilm collections. The Cammie G. Henry Research Center is located on the third floor of Watson Memorial Library. We have different operating hours from the rest of the library. We are open Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Friday, 8 a.m. to noon. We are not open on the weekends or in the evenings. When doing primary source research, it is very important to coordinate and communicate with the archivist and their staff to ensure that you receive the materials that you are interested in. We require appointments to utilize our materials. This is because, unlike the second floor shelves, our stacks are not open to the public for both security reasons and for the overall safety of the materials. Any materials that a researcher wants to look at needs to be pulled from the back by one of us. After you have made your initial contact with the Research Center staff and have made your appointment, you will come up to the Research Center to begin your primary source research. All archival institutions have minor variations on rules and regulations for using their materials, so we would like to go over some of ours. When you enter the research center, we will have you sign in. Next, you will put up your belongings that are not required for research in a locked cabinet. This is for security reasons, as well as for the safety of the materials and general tidiness. When working with primary sources, the basic rule is to never do anything to the materials that cannot be easily undone. As such, we require you to use pencils only as writing utensils and any note taking or underlining directly on archival materials is strictly prohibited. You may take with you a pad of paper, computer, tablet, phone, or camera to help with your research. For the safety of the materials, you are not allowed to bring food or drink into the reading room. We also ask that you have clean hands when working with materials. We do not require you to wear gloves unless you are using artifact or photographic collections. While they are often associated with archival work, gloves can cause more harm than good because you lose the ability to feel the item you are holding and may cause further damage. However, does require that you have clean hands, free of any lotion, as that will leave a residue on any material you handle. Once you have signed in and placed your belongings in the cabinet, we will take you to one of our research tables. We will then bring out the request materials you, to you on a card. We like to think of this entire experience as an evening of fine dining. You have made your reservation and placed your order, and we will bring out the materials to you. When we do bring out the materials, an archives staff member will go over how to handle the materials in the collection and that you're looking at, as each one has a different needs depending on the format. You can take photographs of the materials with your phone, camera, or tablet if it is not flash photography and at the archivist's discretion. It is also very important that you have all the materials necessary for citing the items you are using. You will need to write down or take a picture of the collection name and folder number, as well as any information in the document that will be required for a citation. Citations for primary source materials are just as important as any other kind of research you do. It gives proper credit for the information, and if you publish at any point, this allows researchers of the future to know where you performed your research. Look around our reading room. This is what you will 
will see when you enter the research center. When you first arrive, you will see our reception desk. Then to your right is our exhibit space. We try to rotate our exhibits each semester. Feel free to visit any time to visit the current exhibit. No appointment is necessary. To your left, you will see the Louisiana Book Collection. There are closed stacks, which means that only research center staff can pull materials from them. If you need something from the Louisiana Book Collection, please let a member of our staff know and they will pull it for you. If you look to the back of the room, you will see our research tables and microphone reader. Our reader is connected directly to a computer. So if you are using a microphone, remember to bring a USB and you can scan images directly to your drive. Surrounding the room are wooden bookcases, which house some of our rare book collections. On the walls, you will see some pieces of artwork from our collections. Our manuscript collections all have paper-based collection listings, most of which have been mounted on our website. A collection listing or a collection inventory is an archival research tool that is like a chapter index in a book. It provides a list of folders and their titles within the collection and includes some contextual information about the collection. Some of our collection listings can only be accessed physically and are kept in binders arranged alphabetically by collection. Another key to our manuscript collections is our cross card catalog. This allows researchers to search our collections through subject headings. However, it is only accessible through our reading room and it is not online. With it, you can search our collection through subjects dates, names, and physical locations. For example, you can go to the cross card catalog and search for Civil War, and other collections with materials on the Civil War will be listed. On each of the individual cards is a description of the document, its physical location, and the name of the collection. Another tool you might utilize for research is microfilm. Microfilm materials are still considered primary source materials that are just in another format. Our library has two ScanPro 3000s. One is in the Research Center and the other is in the PBS Serial section of the library down the hallway from the Research Center. The ScanPro utilizes a Windows operating system and, as I said before, it gives you the capability of sending the materials you are looking at directly to a USB flash drive or printing them directly for assistance with utilizing microfilm or the, and or the microfilm readers. Please do not hesitate to ask. Another great avenue for performing research is maps. Our collection is comprised of over 3,000 maps, which focus on the Natchitoches area to reflect our collection policy. Our maps can be searched on the Unified Workstation PBZ map index, or it can be searched by using the cross card index for our map catalog. We also have an index to all the maps in our collection available in binders. 